Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 12th of August 2022 and I'm Nikkei Oshini bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, who will be founder to sell his stake for billions? Barcelona and Real Madrid shake hands for Metaverse. Passports now on the blockchain. Oasis to block wallet addresses. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, Leon Lee, the founder of crypto exchange Wobi Global, is reportedly looking to sell the majority of his stakes in the company in an acquisition deal that might be worth as much as $3 billion. Leon Lee is trying to sell off almost 60% of his stake in Wobi, an exchange that accounts for 5% of all crypto trading volume. The deal is valued at between $2 and $3 billion. Huobi's existing investors, including Zen Fund and Square China, were informed about Lee's decision during a stakeholder meeting last month. Although the potential deal has been confirmed by a Huobi representative, they do not provide full details. Moving on, soccer giants Barcelona and Real Madrid team up on the Metaverse trademark. Despite being fierce rivals on the soccer pitch, FC Barcelona and Real Madrid decided to make a mutual jump into the world of crypto. The clubs filed for a Metaverse trademark application nearly a week ago, but the news was confirmed recently by attorney Mike Condonis. Some of the offerings they seek to provide include virtual reality, cryptographic software for managing cryptocurrency transactions, and downloadable software for using as an e-wallet. The Spanish Colossuses are not the only ones to make such a move in the soccer world. Meanwhile, in Dubai, you can now get your lost passport certificate within 24 hours using the blockchain service. Dubai police took to its social media platforms to announce that an individual can now get a lost passport certificate within 24 hours using blockchain service. One can submit the request to obtain the certificate via Dubai Police Smart Police Station or the Dubai Police app or the official Dubai Police website. Apart from this, Dubai Police also announced earlier that it will be launching its second NFT collection during GITX 2022. And finally, the centralized finance platform Oasis app says that sanctioned addresses will no longer be able to access the application. As a result of the change of the terms of service, wallets flagged as high risk are prohibited from using Oasis app to manage positions or withdraw funds. Instead, such a category of users must interact directly with the relevant underlying protocol where funds are stored or find another service. In explaining the decision, Oasis app team member Gabriel said this. We've recently needed to update the terms of service of the Oasis app front end to comply with the relevant laws and regulations. In line with the latest regulations, Oasis app has an updated terms of service. Any sanctioned addresses will no longer be able to access Oasis app functionality. Raising a $6 million Series A in 2020, Oasis has grown to become a popular platform for DeFi borrowing and lending. The protocol has processed $4.6 billion worth of transactions in the past 30 days and manages $3.42 billion in deficits. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus, and on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Oshini. Until next time.